Just because you fell in the pool doesn't mean you stand on the table and lick my apple. Kermit. Kermit, bud. What'd you just do? Kermit. Hey, are you wet still? A little. He's still a little He wet. slid ass first into the pool. It was like, it's funny now that we watched that video of him doing it. But like, it was so not funny when it happened. Like, we just fil finished filming. And like, we, we were outside just taking like a 10 minute break. And Kermit manages to fall into the pool. When I first heard it, it sounded like scratching. Like, I thought that they were just running on that that wood out there to that squirrel. So they always chase squirrels as like probably your dogs do as well in the backyard. And what'll happen is like, all of a sudden you'll hear marbles bark and then you'll hear like the Iggy sprint and then they go to the bushes and then they just jump and bark and then that's the end of it. And so I was sitting in here importing footage and Jenna was sitting out there and we have our security camera that was actually capturing it. I couldn't see the edge of the pool though. Like that lamp and umbrella is in the way of like Yeah, you were obscured from yeah. the pool. So I'm sitting here and I heard, the reason I ran out there is because I heard that initial pitter patter of like the sprinting, but then there was no barking. Like there was like a sudden silence afterwards, which was like weird. Cause normally it goes like sprint, bark. And I'm like, okay, that's normal. But it was like sprinting and then like silence. So I was like, why, why did it get quiet? Did they catch something or cause something like Kermit has I'm caught possums and yeah, so I thought maybe he caught something. So I sprinted outside, looked directly at the pool and saw him doggy paddling, like frantically doggy paddling into the pool. And this is like, we caught the whole thing on video. And like Jenna said, like it was not funny at all when it happened because it's like your dog is like not drowning, but he's struggling in the pool and you like you run out there and try to save him. Uh, but like watching that shit back, dude, he fucking did a full 360 and fell ass first into the pool. It's funny. It's like so not funny, and I actually like started crying immediately after because I was yeah. like so sick and worried and like scared. But like he was doing everything right. There's that little shallow shelf that he was like trying to swim towards. And he was. He was aiming towards that. He didn't see me come grab him. It's like, he was... like that's my biggest fear. Like Peach fell in the pool when she was a baby in our old house, and it's so scary and like traumatizing and just like the worst. Well, the difference between that was like Peach was such a puppy that she just like was drowning, like looking up into the sky and just didn't know what was happening. Like she didn't know how to doggy paddle. She also didn't know that like what water was. She was so young. You're we were right out there while they were playing. So, like, anytime they're outside, we're, they're not unsupervised for the most part. Like, we're, if sometimes they'll be on the couch or in here and they'll, they'll be running in and out. But, like, yeah, dude, that shit was a bit, a bit startling. It was like your worst nightmare. Yeah. I mean, when we have kids, like, we're obviously going to have, like, a fence okay, around that thing. Yeah. That's, like, regulation. But, yeah. Kermit, hey, bud, did you go for a little unexpected dip? Kermit? Huh? It's always Kermit, and he's going to be the death of I almost had a fucking heart attack. Yeah, like, I well, felt my heart. You kind of broke down after that happened. I'm just glad I was, like, sitting right here and heard the pattern of, like, foot footsteps to nothing. Because that's, like, what made me run out there. He wants to lick my apple. I feel like I'll let him do anything he fucking wants right now. I don't care. Kermit. I love you so oh, much, Kermit. Oh, oh. We can laugh about it now, because that video is really funny to watch, but it was so not funny when it happened. You scared me to death, Kerm. You gotta be careful out there, bud. You have to be careful, honey. I know you're a sight hound. You just see a squirrel and you just don't care about the world. Such a sight hound. You can see it, like, the, and Marble starts him up because he, he, he does the initial bark and it's like the command for all of the dogs to follow. Um, At least it's like boiling hot out and the water's really hot. Yeah, it's not even cold, but. Do you remember what happened? I love you so much, bud. He's never fell into the pool before. Mm. We've lived in two houses now with pools. He's never fallen into the pool. Okay. I'm so sorry, honey. Oh, baby, I love you so much, Kermi. Did not want to go swimming today. Went swimming. Don't let your dogs fall into the pool. And if your dogs are running around by pools, make sure you have an eye on them. Because he would have made it out. He was, he was definitely doggy paddling in the right direction. But I'm very glad that I was able to grab him. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not like he would think to swim around to the other side of the pool. But that little shelf is so shallow, he could have just totally yeah. gotten out.
Yeah. But I'm really proud of him. Like, I know we joke that, like, they don't like swimming or whatever, but we do have them swim. Which he's, yeah. He's swam before, yeah. not out of pure survival, which is his instinct. I remember like, we're talking about you. I think if he had never been in a pool before, that would have been the most traumatizing thing. Yeah, like Peach, which is low. Now we're facing a whole other problem, though, and it's uh, characterized by a story called The Boy Who Cried Wolf. And now you have something to cry about. Normally you don't have anything to cry about, but that doesn't stop you from crying. Hey, so not cool. about you, Peach. Two months apple too. You promise me you're not gonna slip and fall into the pool again? You gotta be careful. I wanna look at my Fitbit and see what my heart rate was. Because it was either zero or a thousand. It either stopped or just like beat through my chest. Mm. You okay? Alright. I'm happy you're okay, bud. I'm happy you're okay. 